Michael Evis, welcome to Amazing Radio here at The Great Escape. Uh, but yeah, nice to see you. Yeah, I'm guessing... A bit of sunshine this morning, I cold know. wind out there. I know, have you just come back from a walk? I, I didn't know. really dip into the sea, <laughs> but I would like to have done. <laughs> I have a cold, a cold swim at home every morning, you know, about 7 o'clock. Yeah. And it sort of wakes me up, you see. Yeah, energised. And so I missed that today, yeah, yeah. so I'm a bit slow now. <laughs> yeah. So what brings you to Brighton? I guess it's not just the sea air and Well, and it's a great escape, isn't it? That's yeah. what we're here for. Yeah. It actually, I'm on some sort of panel this afternoon. I'm going to speak for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and to take a few questions, you know. Mm. And, to, and to let people know where we are and what we're doing. And uh, so people are uh, um, know that we're still there and we're still operating. Yeah. And... We're all looking forward to next year, basically. Yeah. Um, this is our year off this year. I see? know, fellow and, year. And, uh, yeah, fellow year, that's the word. Yeah. It's <laughs> biblical stuff, that, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah. Are you enjoying it? Are you enjoying it? I guess uh, yeah, actually, we're working on next year, you know, yeah. pretty full time, actually. It never stops. I had three major meetings last week, so, so all day long. and But no, there's a lot of pressure at the moment. I'm um, so sort of things out for next year. Mm. And um, the problem with the well, the milk price is actually dropping a bit. So really? being a dairy farmer, yeah. so, so I'm involved with that as well. Yeah. So, I, uh, uh, um, so, so, uh, so I've got a foot in both camps, basically. Yeah. Because farming comes first with me, funnily enough. Yeah. And we've been farming Worthy Farm 150 years. Mm. So it's a long time. Yeah. And so the cows in the farm come first. And the festival Come second. Isn't that extraordinary? <laughs> I don't think I ever thought I'd hear you say that. <laughs> I don't I know, it's quite odd, isn't it? It's refreshing it? to hear it. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, good, excellent. Well done. Mm. Um, so, just before we talk a little bit more about Glastonbury, um, I just want to ask mm. you have you managed to check out any of the new bands here and, and what have you made? Well, of uh, uh, um, I wandered around last night a bit and, uh, and uh, don't there's some more to do today, isn't there? Um, I thought. The French band I saw last night, Francoise of the Alps or something. Yeah, Francoise <laughs> and the Atlas Mountains. Oh, and the Atlas Mountains, <laughs> right. Close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was close, actually. Yeah. Uh, did you A couple of continents great? apart, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I thought they were very good, very, um, very young and very sort of energetic. And it, but they were doing well, I thought. Mm. And the people were dancing and, s and, and s jumping around like mad, you know. And, and they put a good crowd of people as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I thought they were very good. And when you I saw Maximum Park, which I've seen, yeah. seen before, of course. Yeah. I thought, well, I'd go for a comfortable sit-down job right now. Yeah. So, um, so I went upstairs and saw them in the big arena, you know, in the pavilion. Yeah. And it, but they're always a good band, aren't yeah. they? They've done Glass two or three times. And, mm. uh, but, I mean, they're a very good, safe bet, you know. Mm. They play songs that people know and they recognise and everything. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and I saw another band from, from France, I'm not sure what they were called. Yeah. Um, they weren't quite as good as the first French band I mm. saw. Uh, there's more to do today, but, but my daughter does most of the new stuff, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'm still with sort of Johnny Cash and Bob Dylan and, <laughs> and Neil Young and all that, the big guns. all that kind of thing. <laughs> That's me. Really, basically, yeah. So, have you got your headlines? Occasionally, though, know, there's a Smiths out there, or, or, or a budding Oasis, or something. Mm. There's always one out there, yeah. uh, um, to which we're always looking for, aren't we? There's yeah. one of those, or, or, or a new Radiohead, or a new Coldplay, or something. Yeah. Um, but I don't know where they are. I'm sure, but I mean, well they'll be out there somewhere, won't yeah. they? I'm sure there's a few among mm -hmm. the 300 bands playing here. Some talk about the Smiths coming back together again. That'd be good, wouldn't that it? That'd be good. Yeah. So, have you? How far along are you? Have you got your headliners for next uh, year? Well, we have. We've got a choice of about four at the moment for the first three places. Yeah. yeah. So we're making that decision. You know. Yeah. Now, Michael, uh, when sure are you going to get Led Zeppelin back together? Come on. Uh, if yeah, anyone's got the power, surely <laughs> you have. <laughs> <laughs> actually, Robert Plant has played a few times. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, and Jimmy Page. They've actually played together, but we haven't had the full works yet. Yeah. Uh, I know you're so we get the full Monty one day, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Robert Plant's very handy, and he lives just up the road and everything. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, so he's a good old friend of the festival and everything, you yeah. know. Uh, and um, I haven't really tried yeah. uh, terribly hard to make that happen. I have, yeah. I have to tell you, really, yeah. because but they want a lot of money to do that, I think. Yeah. Uh, and, and we don't really pay enormous sums mm. 
and it's phased yeah. because people do it because they want to do it. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, for the but moment. Otherwise, it wouldn't work financially. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. I because I we spend <laughs> we spend about thirty million on the whole site, you know, <laughs> uh, 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 and and which is a thousand acres of entertainment. Yeah. And so, th so that it's a bit. It's a bit like an enormous sort of medieval um, sort of street festival, really, on an enormous scale. Mm. And so there's so much going on everywhere, you know. And there's, there's a fantastic film on, on BBC Four of all the non music stuff on the 15th of June, which is in about four weeks' time. Mm. Of last year's last year. non music stuff was incredible. Yeah. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, it's stuff that you've never, never heard of, you know. Uh, and so that's something to look forward to, yeah. 15th of June. And uh, I know you're not going to be able to divulge who, who your headliners are, but are you yeah. excited about the ones that you, you're uh, Well, we're excited. We're always excited, you know. That's mm. what it's all about, really. Yeah. Because there's a great gathering of the clans, everyone's there. And, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, I'm just walking through, uh, through the streets of Brighton last night. I, I mean, so many people want to take the picture and shake my hand and stuff. Yeah. And say, there's so much looking forward to next year, you know. But, but so there's still a buzz about next year. It was extraordinary, isn't it? I, I went, I came After 42 year. years, you cannot believe it, can you? <laughs> Quite I can. honestly. I'm, I'm a Glastonbury regular. I've been for the last mm. four years. And I have to say, I don't know how... Beyonce was... Yeah, she was good, wasn't one she? One of the most amazing gigs yeah. I've ever seen. Uh, yeah, yeah, How do you yeah. top that? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I think I you can. I have faith. And Jay Z was good before that, though, yeah, wasn't he? Brilliant. Were and it was just a moment. It was great seeing a, a woman. Hmm? Like, uh, it was great seeing a woman at the peak uh, of her yeah, powers. Yeah, I know. Really. We need more women out there, actually. Mm. Do we really do? We ought to, well, there are a lot out there, but I can't mention any yeah. names at the moment because <laughs> they're a bit precious, aren't yeah. they? But there are one or two ladies out there that are absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to start naming names, though. Mm. It's pretty obvious who yeah. they are. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so uh, do yeah. you get any chance to, to, to relax these days? <laughs> do you get any, yeah, well, any downtime? But, yeah, we do. You know, we, we, um, we're going around the coast, you know, the coast of England and Wales and Scotland, and we got halfway there. And um, um, but listen, I say that's my wife, and... and uh, uh, and we do it together in a little mini, ca a little yellow mini with a black top, uh, uh, and uh, 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 and so people are beginning to recognise the car now. <laughs> 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 and and uh, so we're about halfway there actually. Th then we shoot down to Brighton and do Lovely. this bit of stuff here. Then we go back and do a bit more. Yeah. And uh, so we're going to Dumfries next week, and uh, I'm going round the the north of Scotland. So so this is our year off. This is a holiday thing we've talked about for yeah. years. Yeah. Okay, we're doing it now, yeah. um, but we're still working, you know. Yeah. And just lastly, uh, how many Glastonbury's are there going to be from next year? Are you going to go for the next sort of three-year so work? We've got another four for sure. Another four. But Exciting. <laughs> yeah, a, and uh, probably, um, so what I'm really trying to do, I'm trying to do 50 years. Yeah. So, uh, so which will be another eight years, okay. which will which be two years off in... in so it's another six, isn't it, to make eight? Yeah. And so it's another six, I reckon. Yeah. And so, so that'd be 50 years of Glastonbury. Yeah. It's extraordinary, isn't it? I know. You know, uh, providing it works, providing people want to come and people want to play and get involved, you know. Mm. Because we've got incredible artists who are uh, lining up to do things, you know. And not all about music, yeah. but theatre, circus, and all that fancy um, sort of avant-garde stuff that we do down in Shangri-La and the Common and, and Trash City and all around there. But of course there's the green fields as well, you know. So that while people keep coming t and wanting to perform, again, people want to buy tickets. And I mean, the enthusiasm from last night was amazing. I, I, I was quite overwhelmed by it. Yeah. And some lovely black girl came and jumped up on me. <laughs> 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 and uh, I say because you have a picture taken and stuff. I mean, I mean, you can't believe it, can yeah. you? I can. It is. Qui <laughs> it is quite extraordinary, I have to say. Yeah. Well, Michael, thank, uh, you, yeah, uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much for, for coming mm. and talking to us on Amazing Radio. Really thank appreciate it. Uh, thanks for inviting me. And have thank a good much. rest of your, of uh, your fantastic. stay. Fantastic. Thank you very much.